Ladies and gentlemen of the press. I am pleased to announce that today that the Keystone Pipeline has finally been approved. This pipeline which will carry oil from Western Canada to refineries along the Texas Gulf Coast. Plans offered by big oil companies and pipeline companies did not provide enough environmental protections. I have appointed a new czar to oversee its construction. And a new czar to oversee the implementation of the highest level of environmental oversight ever to be undertaken to assure that we provide maximum environmental protection. As you know, under the current projections, jobs numbers and other benefits touted by supporters of the Keystone XL oil pipeline are probably exaggerated. We will take measures to assure that this project will be jobs producer. Accordingly, I will direct Director of Homeland Security to hire an additional 39,000 border control agents to be assigned to the protection of the pipeline, not only during its construction but to be retained until the pipeline is removed when it is no longer used. Also the pipeline contractors will put up a bond of $1 trillion to be paid to our health care fund to be used to. R. With the hydrocarbon emissions the oil produced will generate. Also the pipeline operator will be required to pay $150 per barrel transported to the EPA to cover costs associated due to the environmental impact of this project. During its construction, we will institute a comprehensive plan to assure environmental quality standards. There will be a zero tolerance of any noise disturbances outside the working envelope of the work site. No equipment shall work other than 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. weekdays and must follow. Postal Service's guidelines for efficient hours of operation. No dust disturbances will be allowed and dust monitors shall be installed along the construction sites during construction. There shall be permanent rest areas established every 1,000 yards along the pipeline the relief of monitors and construction workers. The rest areas shall have emergency fire equipment eye wash stations, bath facilities and on-site sewage systems. All shall be serviced by my good friends at the Ben & Jerry Corporation. They have agreed to use all soda containers according to Mayor Bloomberg's newly proposed size standards. There will also be facilities in states like Colorado for workers who want to use medical marijuana and other prescription drugs, and gay bars stationed at every other mile marker. No one is more qualified to oversee these gay facilities than Janet Napolitano who is the third secretary of the Department of Homeland Security she will personally manage. These gay facilities. She has instituted a new, more strategic course to strengthen security in our gay bars deploying additional personnel for their protection. Upon completion of the construction the Department of Agriculture will oversee the planting of trees along the right-of-way. I have directed that green giants be placed there to block the site from public view and mitigate the carbon emissions that will be increased as a result of the oil that is transmitted. The green giants are to be planted in three stag rows on both sides of the right-of-way. They shall be five feet apart in rows. The trees when planted shall be a minimum of 12 feet tall on planting. The tree farm. Highland Hill Farm will supply the trees. They are the largest producer of these trees in the county. They agreed to donate these trees after discussion with my personal representative, Dennis Rodman. He met with officials of Highland Hill. He explained that the donation of trees would mean we would not seize their lands for public housing projects by our wealth redistribution program that is tailored after my mentor, Robert McGaub's land redistribution program in Africa. With these protections in place work shall be permitted one year after a health impact review is complete. Its oversight will by by Governor Mario Cuomo. He has been directed to move forward at a pace like the speedy progress New York has made in determining the safety of fracking in New York State. L.